if you want to design any product, and I'm talking specifically to my Jamaican manufacturers now, right? I know it's time for Christmas and everybody making them sorrel. Let me show you all the things a label must have, all right? If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. My name is Raymond Chambers. My dream is to take every single entrepreneur from Jamaican entrepreneur from here to there to the next level. Let's dive straight into it. Basically today, I want to design a label, which I've already designed, but then I am going to do it from scratch, right? Um, you should know that um, if you see me moving really fast, is I've been doing this for a couple of years. Good day. I've been doing this for a couple of years, so you know you get better and better at it, and I can just, I think it's safe to say that I'm at a point where I've designed for international um, brands. I've designed for brands that have gone international. I can show you them. You will see some of the videos on my channel. So I have quite a little bit of experience with this. So anyway, just to basically say something to you, the more, if you want to push a brand, if you want to push any brand at all, the nicer it is shown on any product. This is a mask. Okay. With Kuda J. Of course, you can't see properly because the camera needs to be flipped. I can flip that so you can see it. Properties. Configure video. Oh, it's flipped. So why isn't it showing flipped? Configure video. Advanced setting. Normal. See. Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. You can see it. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so what I wanted to say is the, the the bigger you show your logo on the front, the nicer it is. And always remember, your your um, image at the front must not be wider than this. And I'll explain why. This is, of course, so this is five, two and a half. I'm um, going to the technicalities. But I'll explain why you don't want to go past here when it's on the shelf. And it's facing it's on the shelf you want them to be able to see everything at one glance right and for every product um, let me change this to black so you can see me typing I might need to change it to white if there's a background for every product every product needs three things at the top you need to have your logo in the middle the name of the product and the benefits sometimes it can be about the benefits or something that you think will draw the customer to your product and the net so here the net is 500 m and in jamaica you need to put small m big l um, 16 fl dot oz dot brackets this is liquid net weight has something totally different um you know the net weight is you know what i mean the weight of the product inside the jar so when you put in the measurement you have to weigh the jar empty then weigh the product in the jar and minus the weight of the jar from the entire amount and then put the net weight on there so it's net weight you know what i mean so right there i'll put sorrel um i like to do it really big and uh style just a personal style i like using refreshing and tasty is using a nice wording up there and um on other labels i do another style you know what i mean i've been sorry but i've been taking up recently is putting something cute on the label itself um it can be anything from yeah leaf i don't know if that's a sorry leaf but we'll go with it as a sorry leaf as i say i'm just designing a label quickly so you can see what i want to point out is i want to beg jamaican entrepreneurs to not just think about today not just think about labels that you want to do for christmas to sell understand where i'm coming from think about it long term so after christmas 
you go and want to make profit off of this noodle as well. Understand where I'm coming from? Put in nice flour there, it gives it a little bit of, you know what I mean, make it look more professional, you might say. Um, no, you're making a sorrel drink, so of course you want um, some representation of sorrel there. Uh, so it depends on the, again, it depends on the market you are targeting. Some people targeting like the just the general public, so you want a nice, the general public usually like something, you know what I mean, refreshing looking. Getting it, but if you if you if you are targeting a higher end of clientele, you might decide, okay, I don't want to put that image on the front. I want it to be black, a black label with gold writing. If you dis, um targeting a specific clientele, like you want to put it in one specific store, you might say, okay, let me put it in the store colors. You know what I mean? You don't want this. But for this, the um, for just for this um, for this session, I'll just use this, which is just any um image you can find on Google. Make sure that you have the um copyright issues. You're not slammed by copyright issues, and this actually um relates to somebody who's going to design it yourself. Of course, you can easily just hire. A professional graphic artist and he can do it in no time for you um, okay so that happens and then of course because the background reminds me of Hellshire I'll just put a beach in the background and then of course a beach always make it feel refreshing you know what I mean make your drink feel refreshing mm. put that in the background and already the label is kind of looking Oh, I love it. You know what I mean? I want to taste it kind of thing. Nice fresh in background. And this is just a simple label, guys. The label can be much nicer than this, but just for the, you know, just for this video, I will just do a simple label. Um, now you want to get that neck weight showing. So we put a background in here. Why am I going into detail like this? your first impression always counts remember that um whatever your brand spits out and i had to learn this the hard way i remember when i wanted to just design something for one of my clients and they put the, the client said listen i don't care that the logo is distorted you know what i mean just print the banner printed the banner with the logo distorted um because it wasn't um a high resolution and when he got it he was like but Raymond what is this and I said to him but you said you know what I mean you said it didn't matter what you need to understand is that sometimes the client will say something to you like I'm talking to you now sometimes you will say something to your graphic artist but you want it to look professional you want your label to look professional you want when your label hit the market with the good de brand and they taste it and you know what I mean it, lo it looks professional they want to take it up to drink. It's not a label that, you know. Um, Fuck, sorry, I'll drink. Again, this is just for the, just for this label, but do not, I don't suggest you take uh, nutritional facts online and just slap it on your label for more than one reasons. Um, If somehow they pull it you don't want you don't want pure standards pull your product off of the shelf right you want your product to go far and wide so don't slap on somebody else's nutritional facts on there there are ways to do it you can go to SRC scientific research council get your nutritional facts done um, if you want to set up your own lab you can of course I've seen people do it all over the world um, set up your own lab do their own nutritional facts but just make sure you have proof because it is going to be asked of you right if you go to certain stores you can't go in certain stores unless you have your stipulations done properly right your regulations followed um, if you are just going in business uh, you can sign up with 
Jamaica Business Development Corporation and you end up getting a um, discount from some of the services that you're serving. Okay, moving right on. Every label needs to have best before. Best before. Alright, and this font don't need to be more than 6.5. And your batch number you can actually let me just put it right below each other. Alright. Um for for this there's a way to do this easier than just always stamping your best before and batch number here. You can get a batch code gun. And then you put best before C bottle, batch number C bottle, and then you just do the barcodes, the batch code sticker, and stick it on the cap or the bottom of the bottle, whichever one you prefer. Um, you put your ingredients, you have your ingredients, deants, water, sorrel. Um, a thing you need to pay attention to sugar, rum spices um sodium carbonate sodium carbonate bonnet as preservatives all right so this i learned from manufacturers of course um one thing you need to know is the okay sorry stalling one thing you need to know is that when you're putting your ingredients you need to put high to low so i put water sorrel sugar rum spices sodium carbonate so you put most of the most um that you put in the product you put first so you put the most water then you put sorrel then you put sugar rum spices you jamaica manufacturers know what i'm talking about understand where i'm coming from then you go and you can put a nice little story um tasty historic <laughs> recipe handed down from grandma and grandpa yeah you can put that if you like um yeah make it look nice so that's your nice little story um you make it look you know you want it to look aesthetic and nice a nice little story a lot of other things can go on a label but for this exercise or for this video of course i don't want it to go long i just wanted to show you that you can do a professional looking label i beg jamaican manufacturers do a professional looking label not just for today don't just knock up something just for now you know what i mean and then forget that you want to take your company to another level you don't want to just sell now and just sell and that's it understand where i'm coming from you want to take it to another level and if you design your label professionally from day one get it professionally done okay I'm not the only graphic artist out there. I may be a good one. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that about myself. <laughs> but what the point I'm trying to make is just because I have a couple of years of experience in this industry. You understand where I'm coming from? When it comes to label design, I've been doing label design for quite a long time. Um, so there is a label. This label is ready to go on the market. As a matter of fact, anybody want this label design, just comment below. Give me a good story why you deserve label design and I'll send it to you. Right? That's just how I am. I'll send it to you. I might need to make a few changes. You might need your own barcode. Put your own logo there. Um, put a nice and nutritional facts. Change it and I'll give it to you free of cost. Okay? As a matter of fact, the first Jamaican manufacturer to comment below, I want this label design. I will give it to you free of cost. Um, anybody else you know need my help simply tell them about me yeah any questions you have in regards to label design web design 
getting your product online this is what i love i love taking jamaican manufacturers from here to there label design web design um, marketing funnels marketing campaigns i do entire marketing campaigns this is what i love to do okay you are seeing this ad because i did an entire marketing campaign and targeted you as a jamaican manufacturer understand where i'm coming from so any help you need like that comment below ask me any question you want i've helped jamaican manufacturers for a good while and i'll start answering questions in between my school time um i wish you all the best of luck i know how hard it is i know the rough the harsh nature it is when you <laughs> basically going from hand to mouth I've, i'm close to a lot of manufacturers there so i know right um peace take it easy have a good christmas time as much as you can wear your mask take care of yourself <laughs>